In this module, we are going to explain something which could be of immense relevance to economic development in a country like Pakistan. Virtual University Pakistan may have. Is liye Pakistan ke mutalik bhi kuch examples honi chahi. In this module, we are going to give some food for thought to the students for an innovative use of istisna. Ye is time pe hum is liye kar rahe hain because we understand that your understanding of Islamic modes of financing has by now been developed. Agar aapko sari baat samaj na bhi aaye, it's okay. Although I believe that the case I'm going to present is actually very simple one and it is in a way based on the concept or Islamic mode of financing of istisna which we have been discussing in the last few modules. Pakistan mein Gwadar port aur CPAC ki baatein har jagah ho rahe. So Gwadar project is basically constructing a new city. Aur ye Pakistan mein nahi ho raha. Duniya mein bahut zyada mulko mein nai cities develop ho rahe hain. To Pakistan ne bhi Gwadar के मुकाम पे एक नया सिटी डेवलप करने का प्लान बनाया हुआ है जिसके ऊपर काम चल रहा है हम ये देखेंगे कि इस्तिसना को यूज करते हुए क्या हम पाकिस्तान में एक नया सिटी बना सकते हैं और अगर बना सकते हैं तो पैसे कहां से आएंगे नाउ कैपिटल कॉस्ट ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्टिंग अ सिटी are quite huge. I believe that in case of Pakistan, if we want to build a new state-of-the-art city, it could cost about 50 billion. 50 billion dollars. Or if a generous exchange rate laga liya jai 200 rupay ka 1 dollar, so that would be about 10 trillion rupees. Thus, kharab rupay lagte hain ek state of the art naya city banane mein uske andar makana to log banate rahenge uska infrastructure banane mein i just give you a reference if today someone would like to construct new york city it would cost in terms of capital cost 500 billion dollars to 2.5 trillion dollar. Lekin wo to phir New York City hai. King Abdullah economic city in Saudi Arabia is being built with a cost of 55 billion US dollars. There is another new city being built in Abu Dhabi for 20 billion. To Pakistan mein agar 50 billion ka estimate lagaya jai, which is about 10 trillion rupees it's not a bad assumption at all. Ye das kharab aayenge kahan se? Hum to kehte hain ji China jab tak invest na kare Pakistan mein Pakistan tarakki nahi kar sakta. Ye infrastructure projects chali nahi sakte. Chal sakte hain. Because this money could come from within Pakistan if we use Islamic modes of financing in such a way that it touches the right emotions of the Muslims. Agar so million log, Pakistan ki abadi, 230 million. Agar so million log, 1 lakh rupya, over a period of 10 years, lagaye, to ye 10 kharab rupon ki cost nikal aati hai. Now, when we say 100 million, this means that 100 million afraad, 100 million afraad ke equivalent, this is 100 million ki bajay 50 million bhi ho sakte hain. Us surat mein wo 1 lakh ki bajay, wo 2 lakh ho jayegi. 2 lakh 
ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टेन ईयर्स जिसका मतलब यह है कि बीस हजार पर एन अब अगर ऐसा हो जाए लोग जो हैं आपको इस मुल्क में कुछ ऐसे लोग होंगे जो इसके अंदर करोड़ों रुपए एक बंदा इन्वेस्ट करने के लिए तैयार हो तो ये पैसे आ जाएंगे लोगों से अ न्यू सिटी फंड कुड बी सेटअप वो पैसे उसमें चले गए और वो न्यू सिटी फंड जो है वुड अपॉइंट एन इन्वेस्टमेंट एजेंट विच वुड आस्क अ नंबर ऑफ डिवेलपर्स और अ डिवेलपर टू बिल्ड द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फॉर दिस न्यू सिटी इन अकॉर्डेंस विद एन इसना एग्रीमेंट वंस दैट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज डिवेलप्ड that would be delivered to the new city fund which would own and operate it for certain time period before transferring it to a new city development authority government ki baat nahi ho rahi this is actually a principle which can be used for democratization of wealth creation is mulk mein main naam nahi leta ek town koi banata hai koi dusra town banata hai उसमें से अरबों रुपए वो डेवलपर अपनी जेब में डाल लेता है जो कि लेजिटिमेट है वो गलत बात नहीं कारोबार हो रहा है बट दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट्स वुड वुड एक्चुअली डेमोक्रेटाइज वेल्थ क्रिएशन ये जितने लोग हंड्रेड मिलियन या फिफ्टी मिलियन या ट्वेंटी मिलियन इस प्रोजेक्ट में इन्वेस्ट करेंगे थ्रू एन इसना स्ट्रक्चर उनकी सारी उम्र के लिए पेंशन लग जाएगी this is a food for thought for you what i wanted to convey today was to let you think how islamic modes of financing can be used in an innovative way to ensure that this country and other muslim countries get developed on a sustainable basis